Hey guys, it's Lizzie. Uh, you are about to see a whole bunch of random clips for the last couple weeks um, that I just haven't posted. I wanted to tell you why I haven't been posting, and it's definitely not one of those I've just been really busy kind of things. I have been dealing with an infestation of roaches in my apartment. Now, the last time I moved, uh, this is my third, like my third unit in this same complex. The last time I moved from the second one was because I lived on a first floor and the third floor people had a roach problem. Pest control decided to just spray and put them in the walls and they went down the walls and into my apartment and got into everything. Um, and it was really, really bad. So I moved to another one, which was so hard because the complex didn't want to even let me move. And it was like, this is your problem. It's in all of my stuff. I had to buy a new Keurig because they were living in my Keurig. They were in the pantry. They were in the kitchen. They were in the bathroom. They were everywhere. It was a nightmare. So I moved here. And for like a couple months, it was okay. And then I started seeing more... I started seeing some baby ones coming out of the socket and I freaked out because I knew it was happening again. So we had pest control come, they barely sprayed, it kept getting worse, it kept getting worse and finally I realized that it, it was happening all over again. And it's been a really challenging few weeks to say the very least. Um, it's just been so frustrating dealing with this problem all over again, uh, more so because they're just everywhere and I hate it and I feel I've been feeling so defeated by the whole situation and it sucks because getting help from the office is mostly them just saying it's my fault for bringing them with me from the last place, which even if I did, it was not my fault to begin with. And so they were all in the kitchen. We had to convince them to move the fridge. My mom actually did it because they wouldn't. And that's where they found the problem behind the fridge. And they were in the back of it. They were in the kitchen. Last night, we, we ended up finally having them bomb my apartment two days ago. Uh, so we had to come back. They gave me two hours warning to clear my entire kitchen cover up everything they came in and they sprayed it ollie hasn't been here uh for a long time because i had hurt my shoulder and while i was recovering from that that's when the problem started and i didn't want him here while they were spraying even though they kept telling me it was fine for him to live here um i just didn't trust it and so he's been staying with my parents i've been having to stay with my parents because i haven't been able to use my kitchen because the bugs were all in the cabinets and in my dishes and in the dishwasher and I can't really see that well and so I'm pretty sure they were living in my brand new Keurig and I was probably drinking them. Um, it's just been probably, it's just been the biggest nightmare and I know there are really worse things going on in this world right now, really, really awful things happening. So to deal with bugs is I know it's really not that big of a deal, but for it to happen again and to just be everywhere and to be being told that it's my fault has just been really hard and I feel like I've been borderline depressed dealing with all of this stuff because I just, I don't know, it's just the problem has gotten so bad. Um, I feel like I've just been, I don't know. I don't really invite people over anymore because I'm embarrassed. I don't want people to think I'm dirty. Uh, I'm not. And what's hard is like they were like, don't, basically don't have your dog food out, don't have anything out, don't have food out. So basically I couldn't live normally, which is ridiculous. So long story short, I've been telling you about this for like almost six minutes now. Um, I haven't been posting because I, one, haven't really been able to stay in my apartment to film regularly. Two, I haven't been in the mood. Um, I have not been in the best mood because of all of this. Once again, I just feel so defeated. Um, we bombed 
the pest control bombed the apartment. Um, they came, whatever, they did that. Uh, my mom and I yesterday deep cleaned my entire apartment and we found them. Um, they were in the living room in a basket I had blankets in. They were in Ollie's toy bin. I had to throw away all his toys, which broke my heart. Um, they were in my room, they were in my office, they were in the kitchen, they were in the guest bathroom. And what's hard is that they were the tiny baby ones. Um, so, it's just been, they've just taken over my life and just really put a damper on things. And again, I know there's a lot worse things going on in this world, but I just wanted to share with you what's been going on with me. Um, I'm still in this lease for another few months and it just sucks when you just want to have the support and the help from the people that you're living with that are managing where you live and you're not really getting it. It really sucks. Um, but I'm trying my best to just be positive and know that this is just something that I'm going to have to deal with and then I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I've been dealing with. A really awful bug infestation. Uh, today is like the third or third day since they bombed it and I really haven't seen that many. Um, and again, it's hard because I can't see that well. Um, so it's just been really crappy dealing with all of this. Um, but anyway, I want to share with you a few clips from a couple weeks ago, from Father's Day, from stuff in between. Uh, so this is probably going to be just one long video. Um, but yeah. Let's go ahead and start watching some stuff that's a lot more positive. Hey you guys, I am back. Oh man, I'm starting my first vlog back in a crazy way. I should turn that water off. I missed you, I missed vlogging. Oh, hold on, so loud. I was gonna take a shower, but. Um, so this is what's going on today. This week, I, well, tomorrow, Tuesday, today is Monday, I have a photo shoot for a magazine cover that I'm going to be on, which is super exciting. It has been horrible weather in Texas and raining, and so that means I haven't been able to go out and get some sun, and it sounds so shallow, but I don't, I want to have like a nice tan. So I am going to have a woman come to my apartment and give me my first ever spray tan. This is either going to be the best idea I've ever had or the worst idea I've ever had, but we'll see. We shall see. This is what's been going on. I have been sorting clothes. I took my winter clothes out to put somewhere. All of this is going to be donated. I am burping. Clothes donations, winter clothes and scarves, hangers from all the clothes I've taken out of my closet. I've really taken spring cleaning to a whole new level, but I have tank tops and dresses and jumpsuits and onesies, long sleeve shirts, crop tops and rompers, sweaters, t-shirts, quarter sleeve shirts, more scarves, skirts and pants and ugh. I don't really know what one does in order to get ready for a spray tan. I don't know if any of you watch Friends, but like, that's my worst fear. But yeah, so this is the before. The woman should be here soon. We'll see what's gonna happen. Okay, spray tan is done. I feel oily and gross, but it was not that bad. It wasn't that bad. The lady that came was amazing and so nice and she did it so quick. Uh, I'll show you my legs. You can really tell my legs. See, my legs are a lot darker. Anyway, I loved it. Even though I feel kind of gross and like itchy right now. Um, I think it was a good decision. I think it was a good decision. I just have to figure out what I'm gonna do because I can't take a shower or sweat or do anything like that for six to eight hours. Which is why I ran all my errands earlier today. But this is just the craziest thing. Spray right, 10 update. I'm desperate to take a shower. Don't like the way that I feel. Um, I feel like it's getting darker. My teeth are so bright. I feel like Ross right now. Um, I have 
a little less than one hour. No, a little over one hour to take a shower. I feel gross. I feel oily and stinky. But you can't really tell with the lighting. Um, I got really frustrated earlier and almost started crying so I was mad and realized I couldn't cry because I would turn into the BuzzFeed girl who has tears when she cried. <sighs> okay, I don't know what else to say. I'm just killing time until in shower time. So I completely failed with bringing you guys along for the photo shoot today. I didn't even take my camera out one time. Not once. I didn't turn it on all day today. Squirrel. 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 <laughs> now skip. Just go from side to side. <laughs> I turned my whole head. Yeah, but Great look shot. at me. There you go. <laughs> We did it at a, um, what's it called, country club, and now my hair looks crazy because it's full of hairspray, it was teased and curled, and I just brushed it out, it's like 6.30 in the evening, I don't know what else to say, it was a good day, I feel like I'm getting a little bit sick, my throat is hurting, uh, but I'm ignoring it for now, um, yeah, it was a good day. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because it kind of sucks and I'm not really doing anything for the rest of the night. It's one of those nights where like you get your makeup done, well it's not even, I didn't get it done at night, I got it done at like 11 in the morning. I got the lipstick done, eyes done, face done, tan, all of that. And it's like you just want to make the best of it, so it's like either go out for a drink with my friends. I don't know. It's a night to go on a date. It's a night to do something. And I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I don't know why. I could. But I'm not. So there's that. When your makeup is done and you're feeling confident, you wear red. That's what you do. You wear red. I'm still figuring out how to vlog apparently. I guess you stop vlogging for a little while and you forget how to do everything. Hey guys, well, this happened. <laughs> uh, I, a few days ago, I was walking Ollie and he saw a dog and he lost his mind. And in order to get to said dog, he ran to him, lunged at him. He then, as I was trying to like get him, pick him up, he got out of his harness for the first time ever and still tried to attack the dog and I kept trying to like get him and long story short went to the doctor today this happened three days ago went to the doctor today turns out I pulled all the ligaments right here in my shoulder. So my arm, I can't really lift it. Um, it's tingling all the way down my arm and to my hand, and it sucks. I just went to the doctor today. It is Thursday. I'm talking to you as I'm getting I pulled lunch. the tendons in my shoulder, and now I'm in this for a week, and I have to get ready for an event tonight. I need help. Just in case any of you were wondering, I managed to somehow get ready with this and my dress matches the sling because that's just something it's just something that always just somehow happens to me something like this and I've just gotten good in matching my outfits here we go here's what I'm wearing this lovely little dress with this lovely little sling Chrissy what are we doing we're surprising my grandfather with my grandmother's present <laughs> <laughs> uh, only it would just be bad if he was looking at us through a window right now. Okay, let's go. Oh, 
He snuck her out. Ah. He kidnapped her. Now, what did you say you're going to say when you see mommy? That's what I want on my platter. I didn't want to this morning. I wasn't expecting you at all. I wasn't expecting you at all. Say hi. Grandma, look. Wave. He was saying he was competitive. Grandma. Yeah. Look, wave. Wave. Say hi. Okay. There you go. Say hi, Grandpa. Say hi. Say hi. Wave. Hi. Say 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 Huh? You want to go on my face? <laughs> I'm clearing my throat. Regular dingo? Oh, no. Oh, no. Censored on this thing. I <laughs> really hope you guys loved the video. Um, I'm, I'm not even going to say what I'll be posting soon because I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I will say I will be in Bolivia. I'm leaving July 1st and I'll be there until July 6th, which means I'll be missing the 4th of July, which is crazy because it's like missing a holiday, which is weird. Um, but I will be in La Paz and I'll be in Santa Cruz uh, doing speaking events. So if you live there, come out and I'll see ya, um, which I'm really excited about. But I'll let you guys see Ollie. You haven't seen him in a while. Hey, hi, friends. Ollie had a rough day. He's not happy with me. Um, Ollie went to go get a haircut today and he also had to get um, shots and blood work done at the vet so he's like bummed out right now but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you're new please go hit subscribe and join our family if you like this video please 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 give it a big thumbs up and if you have anything nice to say you know where to leave it in the comments below and i will see you in the next video bye